Everybody, Guitar Rocks 360. Uh, doing this on a Forza Horizon, my Forza Horizon RC channel. And yes, I'm right behind a Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper S, the latest generation. And yes, it's manual. Um, I just want to show, make, tell you guys about my about the Forza Horizon stuff. Uh, about my. That's why my new channel name is Forza Horizon RC. Uh, reason why I haven't done a lot of Forza videos, more like, more into RCs, because some of my friends, uh, you know, you know who you are. Yeah, I, because I have a I have a fellow subscriber who's in my friends list on Xbox Live. You know, I haven't seen some of my homies from Xbox from Xbox Live on the 360 playing a lot of Forza Horizon. The first Forza Horizon, not the Forza Horizon 2 on Xbox, Xbox One. So I don't know what's up with that though, but if I I don't really mind because you know if they if they want to play something then it's okay. But I, I'm it's been a while since I've actually played around with them. The last time I I think played around with them was like somewhere I believe I don't remember. It was actually way before I came here to San Francisco, which is right now. Right here, which I'm here right now. So I don't know what's up there, so, but uh, I've seen actually one of my my fellow my fellow Xbox Live friend, a friend of mine, uh, did his latest music video. I'll put the link on the description so you can check this out because that video was awesome actually. And yeah, sorry for the darkness. I'm it's, I really don't want to go into the sun. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot over here. But I'll put the description on that description. I'll put the link on, on the description below. You should check check this guy's uh, uh, trailer out. It's freaking cool. Uh, it shows him in a Cobra R, I, I believe. It's a it's a Mustang, so it's pretty it's pretty darn cool. Just just take a look at it. I'm not gonna go blab and spoiler for you guys about it. So that's probably the run of the reasons why he hasn't. Some of my friends at Xbox Live on the 360 hasn't been on the. On the 360, <laughs> obviously on the 360 for quite some time. So, yeah, I guess that I, I guess that's understandable. But I've been working my and speaking of Forza Horizon stuff, I've been working on working on stuff on Horizon, trying to practice for the Goliath match. I'm trying to work on see if I can beat a friend of mine. Which probably will never happen because he's pretty darn good, especially in my McLaren. I am starting to work on that, but my F50 GT Angela hasn't been act is been acting out. A friend, uh, I know Atomic Blaze 23, a friend of my, another friend of mine, also a fellow subscriber on my Guitar Rock 360 channel. He told me this one time that you know I think you should give up Angela. I, she, she's about she's already retired. It's because she already accomplished her beating Savage Nile. Um, I have more information about that on my Guitar Rocks 360 channel. I have a video of that as well. So I will put that in the description below if you want to take a look at that as well. But yeah, so we'll see about that. Uh, anyways, aside from Forza videos, uh, start, aside from me making more Forza videos for you guys on this new channel, um, RC videos, I will be posting more of those things when I get the time. I've been working on my tracks of Slash for almost the whole, almost the whole day. Uh, I will get into the garage real quick. My tracks of Slash over here, and here's my Rustler on, this, on the others over here. My Forza Slash. I, I've actually did draw that Forza logo myself. And also the turn 10 logo. Let's go take that off. Put it on top of my rustler. So here's what's going on. I actually switched the servo out to one from Radio Shack. This is a temporary fix, but it does work. And I had to pop the receiver out because the every time I connect the battery, it always it always goes like that all the time like it turns left so I had to fix that up so the only way to fix that is to take off the uh, unplug this connector where the servo is connected 
and then reconnect the back so it will stay straight like that. But you know, there you guys. That's that's probably fun. just a simple fix. I had to go over that yesterday and it didn't work out well. I got back here this earlier today in the morning just to fix it up and now it works fine. I just need a new brushless system. This one over here on the other hand, my rustler will stay on uh, as stock as it is. The only thing that I will upgrade maybe soon is to change these non-adjustable camber links with actual turnbuckles. Uh, uh, I'll keep the XL5 system so in case that this thing burns out I can just buy in just a different motor for it um, what else I'm gonna be changing the tires with anacondas uh, I don't know about the fronts though but actually you know what I'll actually do the fronts as well I'll change this deals to anacondas as well so nothing really big major that's gonna be happening on my rustler I like to keep it as stock as it is uh, just at least almost as stock as it is so there you guys have it there's my little update on my slash and rustler uh, I'll be making some more running videos on my rustler soon yeah this thing's already getting all beat up and I just got this like just got this like two days two days ago so what's the day the 27th no, it's probably the 26th. Let me check. No, it's the 27th. Yeah, I got this like three days ago. My rustler, I got it three days ago. And my stash has been resting for a bit. So there you guys have it. There's my slash and rustler. Once I get a new brushless system, I'll get my slash up and running again.